Hello to you all and welcome to the Petrushino layout. Um, as uh, some of you may know if you follow my channel for a longer time already, I've started this layout in lockdown 2020, so it's um, a little bit more than two years now. Um, well, I must say, um, it was my first layout I've made myself. I had layouts with my father a long time ago, but this one is the first I made myself. I must say I made a few mistakes. The first one, it is a, an oval with um, no possibilities for trains to stop and other trains to start. There's one possibility here um, in the station area. Um, this mm, small extra oval, internal oval, um, is, uh, is, can be switched off. Um, I have a switch box, box for that and I can switch it off. Um, so one train can stay in the station and another can run. But when that one train leaves the station, the other one has no place to stop except for the sidings. So I can put the train in the sidings and then the other one can uh, run around the layout. That is of course a big disadvantage. I should have made a second, uh, a second track in the station where a train can halt and stay and the other one leaves the station. That is of course not possible in the current layout. There's too little space in uh, the station to make a second track. So, um, the other part I can switch off is, as I already said, the sidings, but only three sidings. Only this one, this one and this one. These are not uh, connected to the switch box. The switch box has only four channels, so I cannot connect that in the current setup. The point is, um, I also would need a zone at least here in the front of the layout uh, to be able, for instance, to switch off this part. So a locomotive could stop here and then another one could leave the sidings and start running. And then a second zone, I guess, in the neighborhood of the woods, of the, the, the forest there, where train could halt and um, the other one could then go to the sidings uh, or whatever. So the biggest problem is that I did not uh, plan enough zones that can be switched off. So how to solve this? Um, <laughs> I think it's quite impossible to make these zones now. As you can see all the tracks are ballasted and the big problem is I used wood glue for it. So it, it's like concrete now. So I'm afraid um, it's not possible to open it up somewhere at some point and uh, yeah, deconnect a few tracks and make a zone that can be switched off. Um, and moreover, I have to do it here. I would have to do it near the wood, uh, which is even a more difficult place. So um, I'm, I'm afraid there's no possibility to do that. Um, it makes running sessions, um, well, a bit uninteresting. I can only run one tra train at a time. Uh, maximum I can put a train in the station and one in the siding. So that is, that is not a lot of possibilities. As for the size of the layout, um, I would not like to change the size, so I, I would keep it as it is, um, as far as the size is concerned. Because as you can see, I don't have that much possibilities. I only have one extra place here near the layout where I could get some extra part. Um, so, so that might be a possibility to get a way out of the oval shape with the switch and then here a, an, an end station. Um, that might be a possibility. Um, fact is, if I want to change it, I am making up my mind now, I would probably have to rip it all down, wouldn't I? No problem for the buildings, they are not fixed. As you can see, I have put them all separately uh, 
the point is I want to switch regularly the Leo from the uh, Soviet version to the English version, so that's why they are not fixed. And I would keep that on the new Leo as well, um, because it's it's easier to clean something and. It's sometimes also easier. I can move a building, uh, put a building aside, and put the camera there, so it, uh, I can take interesting shots. So, but the point is, I would have to make a new layout. My idea is to make an oval again because it's too small to do other things, and I would here put a small station, the Petrushina station. This one is small enough to put it here with a second track, but this oval would go. I would just make a track alongside and then come back to the main oval and then here in between there would be a small mountain, not too big, with a wood on it and um, that would be the separation between Petrushino and I think it's Kushenkino, uh, another station I have from Umbum. Here in the front it would be totally different, I would make a second track, so I would have two tracks here um, in the station, so one train could arrive, another one could go. The same, by the way, in Petrushina, where there would be one smaller track uh, where a train could wait, um, and another one could come, and then the other one could leave. So that would be the the idea. Of course, all these sidings would have to go. I would, well, maybe keep a very small siding in this station, uh, maybe two tracks or even one extra siding and I would maybe make an extra siding here um, just well something something one or two tracks um, or I would make a, uh, a small extra siding here in this part that's uh, something I'm thinking about so I'm not sure what I will do, um, if I will rip it down then it won't be in the next few weeks, um, I would like to enjoy it uh, a little time still. It would come back as more or less a Soviet village with the possibility to change it in a British village, uh, there wouldn't be a change. I'm afraid I would have to buy new track because this one is glued with wood glue. Um, which is very very strong uh, the point is the track itself is not glued um, but it's the pebbles that are glued to it and keep it uh, on the layout so I'm uh, quite sure I cannot release the tracks without problems so if you have advice on this uh, project or maybe you will say no it's perfect as it is but <laughs> I am not convinced it is perfect uh, there's lots of things to improve uh, to it then um, let me know uh, in the comments and um, maybe I will get even better ideas from you guys thanks for watching see you next time bye bye